Greetings, everyone. Core here again. And of course, it is that time of the week again. It's time for another Midnight Review. And this week, I went to go see Guardians of the Galaxy. And I gotta say, it's... I mean, excuse the language, but it's fucking amazing. And if you haven't seen it, go see it. And, you know, if you like superhero movies at all, if you like, you know, laughing especially, even if you don't even know what the hell is going on with these characters... They're going to introduce you to them, they're going to tell you their backstory, you're going to get involved with each one of them, and you're going to love them. So, it's definitely something you definitely want to see. Um, it's so much, I said definitely twice in the same sentence. But, it's definitely, there I go again, you have to see this movie. I am hoping this breaks 100 million. They've already, I already know they're already planning a, uh, Gal they're already planning a Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Uh, as well as they're planning a crossover with Avengers, uh, which I'm pretty sure they're probably going to make an appearance in Avengers 3 if Thanos is involved in Avengers 3, of course. Um, besides that, uh, I can see them, you know, interacting with Iron Man if he ever gets to space, uh, Thor especially, since they've talked about the Collector in both worlds and they've kind of gone to the same areas. But yeah, so let's go ahead and break it down real quick. So, acting, superb. Um, very good. Each character does their job really well, and Rocket really steals the show along with Chris Pratt. Um, besides that, uh, the bad guy, Thanos, makes an appearance uh, towards the beginning, so that's kind of cool. He you know, actually talks, and there's a little scene with him, uh, him and Ronan, which Ronan's character is actually pretty cool too as well. I wish they gave him a little more flair to his outfit, but I guess he is pretty uh, plain. I mean, Ronan the accuser, so... He is kind of, meh. You know, he they give him that robe look and with the hoodie and all that stuff. So it's good enough. I mean, I'm happy with it. I'm not complaining too much. You know, I would, I would just like them to be a little more flashy. You know, bad guys aren't as flashy as the good guys it seems nowadays, which that's usually the opposite in, you know, comics and stuff. But uh, besides that, uh, Nebula was, man, I'm so glad they used practical makeup in this movie. Uh, of course, they did use this little special effects here and there and stuff like that. But practical makeup looks so much better than having any kind of CG you have. And, you know, Gamora, Nebula, uh, Rowan, you know, they're all, you know, practical effects. Even uh, Drax, which is Dave Baptista, which he does a really good job uh, as well. I mean, it, the practical effects just look amazing. The CG looks amazing as well. So it blends really well together. Uh, but, yeah, so bad guys are great. Good guys are great. Even the side characters, the Nova Corps and all of them are pretty great. Uh, the one thing I do kind of wish they had um, flying Novas, which, uh, yeah, a little bit of a spoiler, I guess. Um, really not, because <laughs> it's not really part of, the, part of the main story, but none of the Nova Corp members fly themselves, of course. They're in ships most of the time. Uh, so that's kind of one thing I wish they would have shown actual, you know, the flying Nova Corps, not just the regular, uh, I believe the Nova Corp, um, Grants or, uh, Centaurians or something like that, uh, but I could be wrong, I think the Centaurians can't fly, but yeah, I kind of wish they had at least a few of the flyers, you know, that would have been cool, but they didn't, you know, they kept two ships, which the ships were pretty cool to us well, uh, besides that, the story, the pacing, all the trailers we've seen pretty much show, like, literally the first half an hour of the movie. So there's quite a bit left still in the movie. There's some really badass scenes. There's a lot of funny scenes, a lot of awkward scenes, a lot of scenes that, you know, get you a little tear jerky. Not too much, but enough to get you more emotionally involved in the movie. Uh, the pacing was really good. You know, they didn't rush it too much. They didn't, you know, slow it down too much. It was right on, um, you know, right on spot pretty much, right on cue for everything that they needed. Uh, story, of course, is... Um, you know, they're going after another Infinity Gauntlet, but they don't know that at the first. Um, well, another Infinity Gauntlet Stone, <laughs> which they don't know that at first. And this one doesn't really have a name. It's purple, so it is one of the Infinity Gauntlets. Um, and it does have, of course, amuse, uh, amuse, amusive, a lot of power. <laughs> I should have tried for bigger words. I don't really know how to say well, but it's a very powerful stone, which, they're, of course, they're all powerful stones. Um... Like I said, Thanos makes an appearance, you know, there's a whole thing with the stone. They realize what it is, and then they have to protect the stone, you know, make sure it doesn't go into the wrong hands. So, that's the premise, at least, 
in the second half. First half, of course, they're meeting up, they're getting in trouble together, they go to jail, and then they, you know, group up and realize they have a common goal. And, you know, basic stuff. Well, not basic, but, you know, good stuff, at least. And they pull it off very well. Uh, the scenery is really beautiful. The whole design of this universe and everything, you know, the aliens, which a lot of them are practical effects, they also have CG effect ones. You know, they blend them really well. They make them, you know, seem like they interact constantly with each other. So it's really cool to see that. Uh, it all kind of reminds you of a Star Wars movie in a way, uh, if not better, because they blend so well and they just act like, you know, what's up? <laughs> like, there's, there's, you know, it's not rare to see, you know, I've done alien breed or anything like that. Uh, sorry about that. I got a text. But, um, yeah, it's really... It's such a great movie. Uh, it's probably... Right now, it's probably my top Marvel movie of all of them. Uh, it's pretty close to Avengers and stuff. I mean, granted, Avengers, the reason I love it so much is because of the combination of everyone in it. I'm pretty sure that's why people like it so much as well. But as far as, you know, this movie, I don't really have too much knowledge about the characters before this movie started coming out. And then I learned more and more about them. I really never read Gar Guardians of the Galaxy story before, but I may start now. <laughs> and it's really it's really good. Uh, it's amazing what they do. I mean, they pretty much in are introducing these characters that have never been, you know, that big compared to, like, you know, Thor, Captain America, Iron Man, granted, he didn't really get too big until the actual movies came out, you know, Spider-Man, uh, even Punisher, Ghost Rider, you know, even the other ones that aren't in the main cinematic universe right now are really, you know, more popular than Guardians. Guardians of the Galaxy is like, no one really knew too much about them unless you're a pretty hardcore, you know, comic book fan. So they do a really good job, and they give these people personalities and, you know, backstories. They all have a, you know, a reason for what they do and why they're teaming up. And, of course, later on, they just become friends. You know, it's just going to happen. But, um... <clears throat> Yeah, it's uh, it's really good. I, I, I'm really, as you can tell, compared to all my other videos, this one has really gotten me more talkative about it, easier to talk about it, especially since it is so good. Um, there's really nothing to complain about. It's all, <laughs> it's pretty perfect, uh, to be honest. I mean, I like the music. I like the way that they use the music. Of course, you probably heard it, tons of it in the trailers and stuff like that, but it doesn't get old. It, they're classics. You know, Star-Lord, everyone's backstory is really great. And they get, all give them their time to shine. So that's the best part about it. And I'm really hoping... F I really can't wait until the second one. Um, I'd like to see what they do. And I really hope they start, you know, integrating them with the main Earth-based superheroes, I should say. You know... And I'm really hope I'm really looking forward to this movie, and I really hope it the best. You know, definitely go see it, see it twice, see it three times. You're gonna love it every single time you see it. Uh, the audience I went to see it with it was pretty much packed, and it was the third showing before the midnight showing, so it's pretty. I they're gonna do really well, uh, but yeah. So uh, I can't praise this movie enough. I sh that's all I can say. Uh, definitely go see it. You're not gonna even if you've seen all the trailers, everything that they've released and you know given out so much so far. You're not going to be disappointed, you know, and I've seen almost every trailer for this movie, and there was still a lot they didn't show and a lot of stuff that really, you know, made it better. Uh, even the stuff that they did show, I mean, it was kind of out of context, so you actually get more context when you watch the movie, and it's a lot better. It's more funnier, and I still laugh even at the same parts, but um, yeah, definitely go see it. It's pretty much a 10 out of 10 for me if I had to rate it, so go see it. Please, even if you don't like comics, go see it. Someone in your family will. So, next week, uh, August is going to be my busy month because it's pretty much a movie every week. Next week is Ninja Turtles. And I am actually looking really forward to this movie. And I hope it doesn't disappoint me. I know a lot of people don't like Michael Bay, but I do. You know, he does some of blockbuster movies and he knows how to do them, even though he didn't direct this one, just produced it. So, till next time, guys. Later.